Hey guys, that tribute guy here and uh, coming to you with my first ever YouTube video. Uh, and there's a couple reasons why I wanted to show you this video, despite the fact that it's not my best gameplay ever. Uh, I don't even get a score streak going uh, in this one. But uh, you'll see that that doesn't really say all that much because <clears throat> I'm running Orbital VSATs, Dogs, and VTOL Warship. Uh, but first thing was that. Uh, as we all know that there's a glitch in the game that every once in a while you start a 6v6 match with 7 players on your team. Uh, <laughs> once again, here it is. I am on the good side of it for once. And, uh, <laughs> well, somebody's about to start crying in a little bit. But, uh, <sighs> here we go. I just wanted to, uh, the other reason was I wanted to show people uh, what I believe to be the proper way to play a game of Domination. So, uh, as you saw, I capped the first flag. I tried to get what I thought was going to be an easy kill on B, uh, but the guy disappeared. And what? And this is the big thing: is the first thing, especially on raid, because it's so easy to work the side pass. Is I make my way straight to the team's other to the team's other team's flag, and uh, see there, I pick it up. You know, easy squeezy. Whew! Somebody just saved my butt right there because that guy might have had uh, my name written all over it. And uh, then you see, I come up here, uh, get into a uh, bad situation. That guy saw me coming, and uh, nothing I could really do about that one. Uh, he knew I was coming. Uh, he shot at me, and it was all over from there. But you see, I come right back, uh, going after the flag again. And here, I see this guy coming here. I know there's at least one. Bam, he takes out one. I take out the other guy. He's slaying down on his tack insert. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Please don't ever do that. Well, if you're playing against me, do it all you want because I'll just kill you twice. Uh, but here you go. Get in the situation. Bam, pick up a capture. A capture kill. Trying to work on the capture. And I know somebody's coming up. Bam, try and work back into the zone. Get another capture kill. Was hoping that would be one. And, uh... You see me just sitting here waiting, and another guy's about to come up, and I was hoping he was going to be a capture kill too, but I get the capture in just before, so he's a kill attacker, and then simulate that guy out. And that, my friends, was 825 points in less than 10 seconds. I also have hardline running, so I don't have to get the full 1200 to get the orbital V set up. I take a stupid gunfight there and lose, and that's what ends my first attempt at the orbital this game. This is another reason. Look how bad knifing is in this game. Dude is nowhere near me. Doesn't even finish the knife before he dies and yet somehow still killed me. Absolutely hilarious. But hey, what can you do? Bad gunfight there, got the assist. Bad gunfight here, end up taking the assist as well. Um, Just stupid, stupid, stupid. Um... Just bad gunfight. And I get shot from the other direction. And what do I do? I see this guy over here and I turn and face him. Just stupid decisions this first half. Trust me, it gets better the second half. Um, but as you'll see, I'm constantly going after flags. I'm going towards B, hoping to cap. Uh, checking my routes. Boom, get the easy capture right there. Uh, just get in in the nick of time. And you'll see me do that another time in this match. And that's one of the things is if you see a chance to get that capture, take it. Dolphin dive on it if you have to. Just get the capture. It's easy points. And see, boom, boom, get the avenge right there. And I'm working and I'm trying to make my way to sea flag. I see a guy up on my radar. And boom, lightning strike gets him. Okay, make my way back over to this way where I just saw a dot from. What do I do? I take a stupid gunfight here that I can't finish, pop back over, and I'm about to die. And boom! Quick scope from a completely different guy. Uh, he was coming up the hill, saw me there, quick scoped me. I knew what was happening. I didn't want to watch that kill cam because I have been quick scoped so many times today. It's ridiculous. But uh, see, I take a bad gunfight there. Uh, Should have won it, but uh, I wasn't on my game, and the guy completely owned me. Congrats to him. Uh, so here we go, trying to get in. Uh, we got one minute left in the first round. Uh, once again, taking different routes. Always take different routes, no matter where you go. You don't want people to go, low, like, oh, well, he's going to come this way. Should have gotten an at least an assist there. But always try and take different routes. You can take 
partial roots the same. Like here you go, bam, take this guy out. All right, try and work over here. Uh, I'm about to die again. I should have taken this guy out because uh, as you see, I'll turn and bam, there he is. But ooh, that shotgun. Anyway, should have won that. Uh, should have never turned away. I saw him out of the corner of my eye, but my first thing was always check and swing back to check somewhere else, and I didn't expect I was going to see somebody right there, but I did, and when I came back, it was too late. Uh, about to take a stupid gunfight here. Guy's coming down the thing, boom, I've got an SMG, and he just completely owns me. Uh, as we keep moving along, time's about to run out. I'm trying to get the final kill here, and I'm about three seconds too late on getting it. Because here's that guy, bam, he's already down. <laughs> and I finished this round in second on the leaderboards for my team and the overall leaderboard. And as you'll see, I'm 10 and 9. I'll only die five more times in this match, but I will pick up, I believe, 12 more kills and not get as many points. And you're about to see why. I play a little bit smarter. And playing smarter does end up sadly meaning that you're going to take less of a score. Because there's gunfights that I could have gotten into that I shouldn't get into. And I did that the first round. I got into gunfights that I shouldn't have gotten into. And... I either and I picked up the assist sometimes and got lucky. That's what it was. It was luck. And instead, there are times like here. I could have opted into firing off a couple of shots, maybe get an assist there. But then I also let them know that hey, I'm here, and I'm using a gun that you that just won't hurt you. Here, here I go. Bam, catch in on that quick capture right there. This is gonna get me close to an orbital once again. This is my second true attempt at an orbital. Uh, bam, get this guy from behind. Easy kill. Always take the easy kills as you want. Uh, boom, start a gunfight that I shouldn't have. Uh, but hey, I get the easy kill right there. Another easy kill right here. Getting on in the capture. This is what you want to do. You want to take out guys that have no idea. Now here I need to reload. Uh, I'm about to run into a guy who's going to kill me and end my orbital streak. Bam, there I am, down. Should have reloaded. Should have stopped, pause, reloaded, taken cover. And by that time, that guy would have probably been out that door. And if he had been out that door and I had popped up, he probably wouldn't have been looking for me. Or he may have looked for me, missed that I was there, and then kept moving on. And I would have gotten another easy kill and an orbital VSAT and been on my way to easy kill town and to my VTOL warship and attack dogs. So you see me here working it. Uh... That's That was my mistake. Uh, once again, both of my Orbital VSATs, I lose because of my own mistake. Uh, it was completely in my power not to lose them. It was completely in my power to get them, but it was my mistake that cost me those Orbital VSATs and the score streaks that would have come afterwards from getting easy kills, from knowing that my opponent was coming and being the first person to know about the scores, about the gunfight coming my way. And that's another thing, is that it is super easy, especially in Domination, to get these high score streaks running if you know how to play. And as you can see, it's really easy. I'm not getting in a lot of gunfights. I mean, anybody, there are a lot of players out there that put in my situation, run the game exactly the way I do, would probably have gone 28 and 4. They would have probably, I mean, they would have taken away 10 of my kills and turned those 10 deaths into 10 more kills, you know? I mean, so you're talking a guy that could have potentially gone 32 and 4 as opposed to 22 and 14. Uh, and that's the situation. That's, that's the plain simple fact of the matter, is that there are plenty of gamers out there that could do that. But I'm just your average gamer. But what allows me to do well, what allows me to play well, is the fact that I know how to play the games. I know how to play the objective. This is what I'm trying to teach, is that if you go after the objectives, bam, here I am, trying to go after the objective. Take that guy out, okay? See another guy. Stupid gunfight right here. Shouldn't have taken it. I should have let him come to me. Uh, but I didn't, and it ended in my death. 
somebody else might have ducked behind a corner, let that guy come to them, and boom, would have taken him out, easy kill, and then gotten the capture. I mean, it's really easy, people. It's just, it's it's not hard. It's, anyone can do this, you know? And this is what I'm trying to show you. I'm not the greatest gamer in the world. I'm just your average guy, and I'm playing solo, and I'm doing well finishing at the top of the leaderboard and the thing that I did the most 1600 of my 3975 points came from capturing flags and then at least 600 more so we're talking we're talking over 2000 of my points came from when I was capturing flags so that means 1800 of it came from miscellaneous other things like assists and regular kills that were only worth 100 points and I mean it's just that simple people you get it done you go after the objective you play the objective and you win and you finish at the top of the leaderboard and you can get things like the orbital VSAT running and all that stuff like you saw stupid mistakes on my part that I could fix is what stopped me from getting them and you can get them too it's like play the objective rush for the flags you know don't rush stupidly now just get to them take different routes you know play smart and get there and take on only the gunfights that you need to take on and the easy gunfights that you can win like the ones with the guy has his back to you and you will win that's all for today. This is That Tribute Guy signing off. Have a good one, and I hope to see you next time.